Hello, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Right, today is a collaboration beer with Weird Beer Brewing Company out of Hanwell. As you can see, the Brussels Beer Project out of Brussels in Belgium. <laughs> Nearly forgot then, but yeah, this is Don't Worry, Be Heavy. It's, as you've already seen, uh, a wee heavy style beer coming in at 7.8% ABV. Um, this was bottled on the 9th of November of 2016. It's got a two year shelf life, so the 9th of November of 2018. Um, there's no IBUs to this beer. There's the bottle cap. So brewed, almost certainly, definitely, at Weirdbeard at Hamwell, West London. I've had this quite a while, probably, and there's going to be a lot of beers like this that I've had for a long time that I'm, I'm going to start to review. Um, and I might actually start doing, when I, once I've get, got through quite a few of my aged beers, I might start doing some regular supermarket beers. So we heavy, or Scotch Ale, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> Not had one of these style for a while so beer in the glass then um, it's got a, like a three quarter kind of just off white head very tightly packed bubbles very creamy looking on the top it's leaving a bit of lacing as I kind of rock the beer slowly rock nice alcohol legs on the beer into the light then there's a slight kind of ruby-ness to it raisiny mahogany dark not much light coming through apart from this kind of bottom segment here up to the curve so getting an aroma then straight out of the fridge probably not the best thing for this style of beer because you're not probably picking up the full kind of aromas but I mean it's been in the fridge because we've had patches where it's been quite a warm summer and I didn't want them to go off or explode as soon as I open them or whatever so this is that was kind of pure uh, precautionary measures I don't normally put this in the fridge but as it is now it probably is a little bit too cold to get the full effect on the aroma I'm getting a slight kind of earthiness to it, almost like a slight, almost rubberiness to it. I probably get people comments, "Oh, this, this has got this going on to it." Whatever. There's a slight dark fruits. Almost like an ashtray, rubbery kind of aroma to it. Interesting one. Let's give it a try and see what it tastes like at this stage of its uh, temperature. Cheers. Oh. Wow. Yeah, there's definitely that kind of ash earthiness to it. Slight sweetness. But maybe that will increase as it gets a bit warmer. I'm just going to... Uh, no, I'll leave it. Whatever. I was going to shut the window, but maybe you're not picking it up on the camera. Next door. My very fine neighbours that I have. Top people. Look at that. Very good conditioning. To the beer. I was going to age it longer, but hi ho. Kind of a, a slight kind of vinous quality to it. Maybe some plums, red grapes, that kind of thing. A bit of raisin going on in there. Very smooth as well, though. Although you're getting that slight sweet edge at the front, there is that slight bitter kick at the back end but I'm picking up generally that kind of ashtray 
not smoke, but that, that just ash tray e. <laughs> but yeah, decent beer, really good. Um, I think I've had one beer from the Brussels Beer Project, I can't remember what it was now. Obviously, I've got quite a few beers listed. I've not had every beer from Weird Beer Brew Co, although it's one of my first craft beer breweries I ever tried, along with another brewery in London. <coughs> oh mate. So, it's definitely bottle conditioned. There's still a little bit of cakey sediment there in the bottom of the bottle. That's okay. I just want to show you this skull there with a almost looks like a uh, Stuart sorry mate yeah. decent see if it's changed the taste or the texture to the bottom of the bottle look at that lacing incredible stuff not bad not bad at all um, is it the best wee heavy Scotch ale I've ever had? Um, it's very difficult to say because I've not had that many. Um, I kind of like every one I have. Um, I find not, not one sticks out over the other so far in my very limited experience with this style of beer. Um, this is a little bit more thicker, creamier mouthfeel from what I can remember with this style of beer I've had before. So in that regard, yeah, it's a little bit more gloopy. Mm. Decent stuff there. Um, as for a rating then, oh, I'm gonna give that, I'll give it an eight out of 10. It's a solid beer. Um, I think this is kind of like a one-off. I don't know if this beer is still around. Um, and this is what I was kind of saying about when I, at the beginning of the video was I've had this beer quite a while aging. You go and to then review it, which is all good. It's not going to be relevant to a lot of people. Um, if you've still got this one, great. I guess most people haven't. There might be a handful of people who've still got this beer aging or whatever. So, as it is now, it's an 8 out of 10, fantastic beer. Maybe it'll come a little bit more together in a year's time. Uh, this time next year, uh, next September, which will be like a few months before the end of its shelf life, so still plenty of time on this beer. Um, so it's what is September, October. Now, there's still 14 months left on this beer, age-wise. But then, again, a, a beer like this, you could probably go beyond that. I mean, it, it, it is a 7.8 percent ABV beer so pot luck if you bought a few bottles age one for five years see how it gets on I don't know why I'm still rabbiting because I've already given you the score so for my personal palate so yeah it's an 8 out of 10 I'll quickly go through I'm not going to go through the commercial description I'll put that down below if you if you want to check that out as well as my uh, my uh, weird beard Bruco playlist, the English craft beer playlist. Um, I'm just going to give you the scores from Untapped. It's coming in at 3.73. Um, that's about a seven and a half out of ten. So I'm, I'm a little bit higher than that. That well, it's not had that many ratings to be honest with you. Only 493 ratings, which is really low um, for Untapped because there's normally in the thousands for each beer you you kind of look at. Um, this was added on the first of. So I don't know what way around this is, it's on untapped, 010317, so this year's beer, whether that's the 1st of, of March or the 3rd of January, whatever. Um, I think it's January, to be honest with you. Anyway, if you've had this beer before, this is a collaboration with Weird Beer Brew Co. and, where is it, Brussels Beer Project. This is their 2017 edition. Um, I don't know if they've done this beer before. Um, of Don't Worry Be Heavy, a wee heavy style beer. Comments down below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and all that jazz. And I'll see you very shortly. Cheers.